because I, I'm going to bring this over to YouTube. Since it's my first campaign, I think that having this and then like going back and looking at it in a year or two after I've been playing, you know, lots of campaigns and lots of mods, I think it'll be very neat to see that first run. You only get one first run. So new colony. Oh, geez. So we've got crash landed. The three of you awake in your cryo sleep sarcophagi. The sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pod before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. Your faction will be a new arrival. Start with three people. And then this is all the stuff that comes with us in the escape pods, I would assume. Ship chunks. Oh, map is scattered with. So this is pieces of like the ship. I almost read that as mech warrior. I guess there's a vehicle mod now, isn't there? So that could be a mech warrior mod. I don't know. Sarcophagi. No, no, Sanguifage. Uh, I, I'm assuming Classic Cassandra is the right choice. Creates a story, events on a classic increasing curve of challenges and tension. She'll push you with dangerous events, then give you breathing room, then come back and push you some more. Uh, are these like things that I should push? Peaceful community builder adventure story. Uh, oh, I see the recommendations. Experienced strategy gamers on the first RimWorld experience. Oh, that sounds like me. This setting is designed to be unfair. Huge threats will crush you upon without mercy until your colony dies. Only choose this setting if you are happy with drama of struggling and dying. It, I need to know the mechanics first before that sounds like a good time. Commitment mode. I don't need to do any of these. I can control myself and not reload unless there's like a bug or something. So, oh, I have to choose one. All right, fuck it. Commitment mode. Commitment mode. We're doing it. Uh, since RimWorld is a story generator, even losing all but one person is not the end of the game. Sounds good. Let's go. Random seed. Power armor suit. Why? Okay, sure. That's a seed, I guess. It must be pulling names from what? Like the item list, maybe? Whoa, what is all this? Oh, these are the factions in the game, and I can add more fat. Whoa, cool. So this would be how you'd add, like... Say we were doing a Star Wars playthrough. This is how I'd add the Empire to the game. Insect gene line. Giant insect-like creatures live underground and burrow up to attack. Bump up. All right, cue the cue the Starship Troopers theme. Mechanoid hives. All right, population. I guess everything else is good, right? Global coverage. The planet is always the same diameter, but since it's far larger than needed for play, we don't generate the whole surface. I recommend higher global coverage. All right. What about 50%? Does everybody agree with a 50% global coverage? I guess that's more land, right? It's not really long. It's all lies. Okay, screw it. We're doing it. Uh, Here's the chance. Is there anything else we need to change before we do it? Oh, there's a pollution button. Oh, you could do like a Fallout playthrough and, and rank the, po the pollution all the way up. And then die immediately, most likely. This seems fine. It'll be long once you have 100 mods. But yeah, no mods right now, so we should be fine. Maybe we'll think about global coverage when we're doing like a heavily modded playthrough. Now, I have a question for you guys before we hit the button on this. If I wanted to do a playthrough where I'm, I make it a community campaign like we've done in the past, um, I'm assuming there's like a text file where I can add people's names and like character information, like XCOM series. Is this, is this the truth? Is this true? Or would I have to manually do it like Stellaris? It might be both. And you can name characters whenever. There's a, there's a Twitch integration mod. I knew about that. I remember Wasted was testing it uh, a while back. They let your chat talk in game through the speech bubbles. What? What? That's amazing. So, so like your, let's say your character is in the game, you would be able to send a message in chat and it would pop up above their heads. That's too funny. All right, let's generate. Generating world. I didn't choose my colonists. I guess I, I must do that after the world is generated, I would imagine. Oh, so if it's generating the world before you make your colony, does that mean that you can have the world separate from the colony that you've got? Can I like, my future playthroughs, can they be on this planet? All right, whoa, okay, so this is a full, I've never generated a full world. How do I, 
Why can't I rotate? No, left click, right click. Middle mouse? Middle mouse. Sweet. Yeah, I think I think 100% uh, was a good move. Because I generated one of these messing around with it, and it looked really funky having, like, it was just one continent. Uh, okay. So, advanced, select random site, Fa factions? Whoa. The Fallen Empire, an ultra tech refugee society from the planet Sefamunda. Their culture is based on a code of honor, a strict class system, and enforced social stasis. These are the survivors of a great calamity that tore apart Sefamunda society. They fled to the Rim World using the remnants of their fleet. Despite losing so much, their ships and technology still make them powerful. If you're not a royal, they won't trade with you. Uh, wasters. Do not anger the Empire. Gotcha. It's starting to make a little bit more sense with some of the mods that I was looking at for the medieval playthrough. Whoa. Okay, so... What, when do I zoom in? Oh, I can see... I can see rivers. Uh, who, who is the triangles? We should be on the, on the ocean. Are there boats? How does, like, crossing this work? Ah, uh, a medieval playthrough with, like, fantasy races would be really, really cool. I have to fight against, like, orcs and Dwemer and stuff. Oh, but there are boats. They're just in mods. But there is crossing oceans. Interesting. So what I... Whoa, weird. Oh, I see. It centers the... It centers the sun based on whatever you click on. Eh, that's funny. So, wait, there are people that live that far north? Jeez. What are the, what are the blue? Faction is the Momok League, a loose union of hardy pigskin townships. They're willing to make friends even with thin snouts. What a great name. But they're also ready to toss a bomb and gnaw human gristle when it suits them. Treat them with respect and they'll offer a trotter to an ally in need. Turn against them, and the last thing you hear might be a triumphant battle squeal. <laughs> Traitors, okay. So pig people might not be a bad idea. I'm, I'm thinking like a forest area along the coastline. Is this mountain? Is that what this is? I assume that's like mountainous terrain. Oh, I zoom in, and this is probably what the actual mountain looks like. Interesting. Do the roads do anything? We could live on an island. Is that a terrible plan? Away from civilization? It makes traveling faster. Roads are very important to consider. Oh, okay. I see. Tro oh, that's tropical rainforest. I see. Ah, temperate forest is even farther north. Wings reporting. Indeed. Ooh, what do we got here? What is this? This line mean? If these are roads, dirt road, ancient asphalt road. Oh, cool. So, can I can I be near a road but not on the road? and still get a benefit of the road? Do you like literally move on this map? Or do I have to be in a hex with a road? It's just a better road. Okay, good to know. Yes, near the road is better. So what if, what about like right here? We're next to the desert, but not in it. We're not really next to water though. I kind of wanted to be next to water. We're next to the highway. We can do it right here. Oh, it takes real estate on the map, so maybe we don't want that. Do, is there a benefit to having a river? Terrain? Oh! Oh, like detailed information. I see. Animals can grow, can graze. Yes. Forageable berries. They're all berries. Okay. Fishing. Oh, there's fishing. And it allows for hydroelectric power. Oh, yeah. We're totally going to live on the river. A river gives water generators and some mods make it pretty valuable. No mods though, but water generators and fishing sounds great. And something that I get to experiment with. All right, are we all in relative, what's this? 
Temperate Swamp at you. And then the neighbors are gonna be uh uh Powag. The Mo the Momak League. I've already forgotten who they are. Are they the pig people? Yes, pig township. So potential allies and or enemies. And it looks like they've got multiple outposts around us. And we're right along the desert, next to the highway. Uh, click advanced and up map size, a tick. Advanced. Map size. 275 is recommended. Any medium? Okay. Why don't people do large maps? Is it just annoying? Does it make it too hard to tra traverse them? Is that why? Pathing issues. Okay, so we'll do large of the mediums. We'll do the 275 by 275. And mess with things. Harder on your PC as well, okay. Um, is there a benefit? No, I wanted water. And I guess I'm not gonna get mountain, but I will get water. Uh, yeah. I think this is gonna be our spot. We're gonna live. We're gonna live on the river. So if I want, if I want, say, slate, can I go to the region next door and mine it? One coast is water, good for defense. Marble, limestone, granite, good for defense on one side. Yes, you can. Let's live on the coastline. This is gonna be Armitage, the city, on the coast next to the highway. Hell yeah. All right, feels good. Let's do that one. And then we'll, that'll give us the marble, limestone, and granite. Uh, and our April to September. I guess that's what that's supposed to be. A primary is April. I'm never gonna remember that, so I wrote it down. <laughs> Let's go. Choose your ideology. I think this was a DLC, right? I picked up all the DLCs before we started this. I'm guessing this is a way to create tension uh, between the factions, as well as have like certain rules that you're, you are like, like, okay, domination gang. Our beliefs are law and truth. We will try to convince them. Anyone who resists our teaching is vile, subhuman, who must be crushed. I see. I see what kind of gameplay this is going to give you. Or like cannibals. The flesh of a man and a woman is the highest form of sustenance. Also, it's just delicious. We have gladiator duels, prisoner sacrifices, and human meat fests. That sounds like the worst kind of... Oh, fe feasts, not a fest. Hey, everybody, are you coming to 2023 Human Meat Fest? Oh, man, it's gonna be crazy. We got Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Mm-mm. That's the best barbecue sauce, by the way. I'll fight you. Okay, what's a free rancher? A community of ranchers who hunt and raise animals for food. They don't like eating plants. They welcome diverse ideas, except for a diverse diet. Yeah, okay, that's not... I mean, we can do RimWorld-like and then just kind of learn about the rest of these by meeting people. How about we do that? There's a lot of mods that add a lot more. Yeah, there's a medieval one. The one that got me thinking about doing the medieval playthrough was one where they had like the like the holy, uh, the holy uh, uh, chantry church deal. And I was like, oh man, you can have, you can have like these guys roaming around that you have to deal with and orcs and goblins and and all that fun stuff while you're like using crossbows and whatnot. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Trying to make it in the medieval world. Oh, it's a, another version of, like it's a weird version of Burning Man. And that's saying something. All right, everybody good with classic like? I wonder if the CNC mods, you can have the Nod based ideologies. What the hell was Nod's ideology? Other than Kane is the best. Classic like, let's see what happens. Age 86? Excuse me? <laughs> no, age 26. I read that wrong. All right. 80, I don't know the age. 86 is probably what, days or something? We got a mailman, a geologist right now, and an herb, an herb world urchin who gives us shooting, melee, and intellect. I assume intellect is your ability to research. Use your brain pan. Staggeringly ugly. <laughs> brutal. What brutal, brutal. Pyromancer, cave explorer. Dude, cave explorer, let's go. Oh, we got him up there, yeah. Geologist, what's a cave explorer? Mining, me medical, all right, intellectual. No, uh, check, check, traits. 
Uh, tra traits. Neurotic likes to have things squared away. He will work harder than most to attain this state of affairs, but this nerves, but his nerves can get the better of him. Global work speed plus 20%, mental break threshold plus 8%. Night Owl, he gets a mood bonus of Awake at Night. Uh, can I rename the, their... Why does it fill his name? Okay, you just, you're gonna just be John Rowland. Um, my, my, um, open path. What does that mean? In an old universe of strife, God whipped up a great fire that swept away the last age. Oh, is this his religion? What? Each person is a free individual with the right to their own ideas and decisions. Nobody should be made to conform. Okay. Cool. I'm not gonna make any changes to that then. So, well, yeah, nimble. Okay, so let's go through them. So we got we got nimble. Dance around danger with supernatural grace. Melee dodge chance. So Matt is capable of dodging and super immune. That actually sounds pretty good. Melee, shooting, crafting. Does this represent their like, the thing they like to do or the thing that they're just naturally good at? He's got scars? Oh, they both of them do. Whole body. A chemical addiction. Oh shit. Let's just randomize you. <laughs> Jake Madams. Oh, um, yeah, I noticed everybody's. Oh, you're you're joining us, smuggler. So we've got the smuggler. Let's go back through him again. Nimble, superhuman. Um, a couple of scars, but nothing too crazy. Good at shooting, melee, crafting, and cooking. We've got animal husbandry. I assume that's what this is. A burning passion. That's what it is. It's a burning passion. I get it now. Fire means it levels up quicker. Okay, so you can get them better at other things, but the fire means that they're like, yeah, they're more inclined to do this. Jogger? Wimp? Oh no. She tried it and she liked it. Cannibal? <laughs> um, does she have to eat people? Because I kind of want her to join us. I'm totally making Tabby. Uh, a cannibal. It's a good spread. All right, let's do it. I think we're good. We've got Pez. Pez needs a better name. I'm renaming you to Crazy, because Crazy was the last sub. Crazy Amos. And then we've got Tabby and John, and then everybody else will be people from chat as we, if we get anyone else in, uh, if we survive that long. John sterilized? What, why? Oh, oh no shit. That sucks, John. <laughs> no kids for you. Okay, the three of you awake in your cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape ponds before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on an unknown worm world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. All right. Help. Oh, it even tells us what we need. Can I pause with the space bar? Yes. So I have done the tutorial, but it's been a while. So I may need some, some assistance. Let's look at the map. There's the coastline we were talking about. Runs all the way up and down the East Coast. Okay, just the East Coast. There's our river. What are those? Those look like tanks. Ruined APCs. They are tanks. Ooh, ancient jet engine? Excuse me? Uh, steam geyser. What is that hole? Another steam geyser. We've landed at night. Donkeys! Are they my donkeys? Uh, no. We have whatever this thing is. A monkey. 
Why did we show up with a monkey team? Unforbid everything and get a house up. Okay, so unforbid everything and get a house up. That sounds like it makes sense. How do I... Do I have to manually click all this stuff? Allow. Done. Tabby, uh, what was your skills? Bio? Bio. You've got no shooting. You suck at shooting. Amos is okay. Amos, you're the best at the shoot shoots. You're also the best at melee, though. Balls. All right. Grab yourself a revolver. Uh, I have enough guns for everyone. Crazy, you take the knife. And John, grab the rifle. So we want to get a house online. The question is, where do we want to get a house online? What is that? That's blinking. It contains an ancient mechanoid transponder. Attack this to destroy it. Weird. Oh, look at the animals. I'm going to be all like, woo, because I don't know anything. This is the river? Always yeah. Reporting. Oh, you can walk through the river. Chest deep water. Mr. Bob Bobbington, thank you so much for the tier one sub. So I guess just getting a place to live temporarily online is the most important thing. So let's go architects, structures, walls, right? And then we just start building. Just a simple little. Little structure, little shelter. Uh, I need to put flooring down too, don't I? Flooring, wood flooring. Storage house is your go-to. I think this is gonna be like a living house and then we'll, we'll probably turn it into our storage maybe? <laughs> I love the music for this. How do I cancel something? Can I cancel a row of things? Yes. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It wasn't even, don't judge me. <laughs> uh, oh, how do I make a... Yeah, this is in-game music. Um, how do I make, let me turn it down a little bit. A roof. How do I how do I give it a roof? Hey Blitz! Thank you for the tier or the Twitch Prime. Loving the choice to play Rim World, such an epic game for storytelling. Today is my learning day, starting my first campaign. Under zo under zone? Okay. Under zone. Build roof area. Alright, so they should build a roof there now. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause it. Under work, you can assign people to do stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> oh man, is there a quick way to see their skills? No, no, don't do that. I don't know what I just did. Ah! Oh, look at him go. Tick manual priorities. Oh, and now I can make them like, I see. So firefighting is important. Probably like super important. What's patient? Patient. Medical bed for treatment. Go to a medical bed for treatment if you have a immediate life threatening condition. How are these not number one? Is John really the highest medical? Skill. I'm assuming it's autoing those based on their skills. Let's see. Bio. Medical. Yeah. John is our, John's our medic and our mining guy. Work schedule. So put that on two and doctor on one. Like that. So they'll 
prioritize being a doctor versus being, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, being a patient. Gotcha. Uh, I see. Oh, we're going to need a bed for everyone, aren't we? Brady Bill, thank you for the tier one sub. <laughs> Is it though? I haven't committed any of those yet. I guess yet is the keyword. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's telling me the other... Ooh, man, a steel bed. I'm assuming they mean frame. Not enough for a bed. So I need to order them to cut down some trees. Let's hack these trees down. How do I order them to cut down more than one tree at a time? Architect orders. Ah, chop wood. Chop that wood. Order has been given. Uh, who is my lumberjack here? I assume cutting lumber is a skill. Plant cut. Only John. Only John. Really? All right, John. You're going to be busy, buddy. At least they're putting in the walls. Randomly. Aw, Lord of the Stars, thanks for Switch Prime. I don't know what's worse, our medic is our mining guy or our mining guy is our medic. He's also our lumberjack. Thank you, stars. And devote for the tier one, a literal cannibal just means an excellent waste of spots. Tabby might be a cannibal, all right, but she's, a, she's an all around good egg. Wait, we got pants over here. Hey, John, go, I'm a, I wear pants. And a hat. Can I Q with shift? Yes, I can Q with shift. There you go. Put your pants on. And Tabby, put some pants on. Wow, where are my, my resources? Look, there's gotta be a faster way to know your resources than just looking in the stack pile, right? Oh, it's not in a storage area. I bet, so it doesn't count it. Let's see, zones, stockpile zone. What is this? An ancient fence. Hmm. Set up zones so you can grow food. Uh, I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, look at that, yeah. And now it's showing up in my, in my list, cool. I'm learning things. All right, so zones, growing zone. Let's make our first crop. Crazy, what you doing, dude? Right here. What you up to, man? We've been on the planet for like an hour. Cloud watching. Really? Really? Storing stuff outside does let them waste away. So my plan is build this up as our first, like a place to sleep for the first night, and then probably use this as our storage as we expand. So that is, is that crazy? Should I already start building another building like right away? Because we don't have, like, you know, a building yet. Crazy, can I tell him to get the... Wait, what's his What's his deal? Is he just tired? He's back to work. Okay. I love the idea of the Twitch interaction people were talking about. I'm going to allow this. I'm going to allow this. I'm going to allow this. John's also planting the crops. My man is doing all the work. Berry bushes. <gasps> Can I harvest them? I can. Boost their re recreation. I got you. It's something to do. Cool. Schedule, you can tell them what to do. All right. Uh, all we have on the schedule right now is sleep. 
You will sleep and you will work and that shall be all. At least until the building is done. Because you guys don't want to sleep outside, right? Speaking of which, let's get furniture. Whoa, everything changed colors. Oh, I picked up stone, so it's, it's offering me that now. I see. The barracks is online. Don't let the- oh, don't forget to let the night owl sleep in the day. Uh, that was what? Crazy, right? No. Oh, God. John, the medic, is gonna be the night owl. Uh, yeah. So, John... Roland, you're such a weirdo. Let's see. Too real, man. Schedule. John. Oops, schedule. It, it focuses on him, I see. Uh... There you go. Alright, so- No, stop sleeping outside! What are you doing? Oh, we haven't built the beds yet. He's the Night Owl Mining Medic Farmer. And then we've got Crazy, the nimble, super immune, melee-wielding, uh, apocalypse survivor. Mailman. And we've got Tabby, the, uh, herb world urchin smuggler, who might be a little bit of a cannibal, who can keep up with you because she's also a jogger, so she's- she can get some fast food, uh, but she's also a wimp. <laughs> so she doesn't like pain. <laughs> you know, a good old cannibal who doesn't like pain, uh, mm. Hey, John, I don't even know what you're planting. Potatoes. How does one... Ah, I see. I hope potatoes were the right choice. What else can we plant? Zone. Row area. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's do another field, like... Just an experimental field for me here. And I want you to plant... No, don't plant stuff. Not yet. Rice could be good. Yeah, let's do rice. Ah, <gasps> there's no coffee. <laughs> oh, we're probably too far north for it. Even if there was coffee. Yeah, everybody says rice. I'm on point. Ha ha ha. Uh, I think we're cutting trees down. Hey, y'all really do need to finish that bed, though. Like, not a sign of construction. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. And I can't get you guys to, like, cut trees or anything. They're just kind of roaming around. John is literally doing all the work. Coffee and tree plants are a popular mod. Rice produces more overall. Roger. Yeah, let's see. Assign... No, priorities. That would be working. Um, and we need more people building. So... Where is construction? Here it is. I'm going to prioritize that to two for now. Until this is done. It's already night and we still don't have beds. Oh, we got first bed. It's unowned. Set owner. I'm gonna make it crazy. Oh, Tabby just claimed it. And then I told her to piss off. <laughs> there you go, Tabby, I'm sorry. Go sleep in the bed. What is the VE mods? Vehicle mods? Or night owls just going to town? Y'all should have finished the work. Now you're sleeping in a field. This is on you. Uh, there's like a bush there and I can't get rid of it. 
hopefully he'll get rid of it on his own. I feel like John is the only one getting anything done. Need more wood to continue to build? I have trees marked for, for destruction. Um, and apparently I can chop these as well. You'll find most of <laughs> One pond is most of the work. Oh man. Be real. Be real. Hmm. All right. John's working. Where's my, where's my time? How do I know what time it is? There's even temperatures. Under clear on the right. So it's what, 2 a.m. right now? It's two hours, like zero 0200. John's like, don't worry. I will have breakfast made, a house built, and the rice fields planted before dawn. It's like night shift gets it done. And I will have a bed for me to sleep in in the day. I've got this. Oh, that's definitely getting set to John's bed. Gabby's up. Oh, it's raining. Reduces accuracy and movement speed. You should build a table and chairs. Okay, let's do it. Zone. Furniture. Shelves, shelves, stools, dining, dining chair. Is there a way to change this all to back to wood? How do I rotate? Not tab. Not left click. Not right click. Ah, middle mouse wheel. Uh, I need a table. Made a wall. That's a gigantic fucking table. There we go. I still don't have a floor. Guys, did, did I just misclick that? Or did you guys just decide that floors in that one particular spot are stupid? Okay, it already exists there. We've just decided that in a few places, chairs are dumb. Tabby, for crying out loud, what are you doing? John and Tabby chatted about eating eggplants. Hmm, good to know. She's wandering. Uh, plant cut. She can't plant cut. She doesn't understand plant cutting technology. Crazy's on it, though. Just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I ran out of wood. We're working on it. I'm just cleaning. Plants are planted, the rice fields are in, the potatoes are in. I need to build... I don't have a wood for it yet. I want to get this finished before I tell them to do anything. All right. Set owner. Crazy, you now have a bed. Congratulations. I'm going to put down the the roofing area for, I think I'm gonna make like a storage area, like attached to this. So let's go for structures, wooden wall. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Yeah. And zone. Stockpile zone. Can you get rid of a stockpile zone? Can. Delete. A roof will collapse if it's not supported by a... Oh, so is that what these holes are? I need to put in some pillars. Is that a deal? Which would probably just be a wall, right? Like a single block wall? Uh, structures. Oh, a column. Okay, they're just, they just haven't gotten to it then. How are they doing so far? Oh, their comfort is real shit. Oh, they need lights. Let's see, can we get a torch? A torch lamp. Is that the same as just like a normal torch? I assume so. I don't think that's necessary. I think they just ran out of wood. All right, she's moving everything into the storage room that doesn't exist yet. Um, they're finishing the walls. John's awake. Now things are getting done. I'll put a couple more trees on the chopping block. go guys and we got a light source it's also still raining really heavily I noticed let me put it on normal speed I noticed I can't make a lamp or the, the the thing there that seems a bit weird like they have to sit on the floor Put a floor tile under the door. Uh, that's a good idea. Structure, no. Floors, wood floor, boop. And then wood floor, boop, boop. You can change the type of torch. Oh, really? Okay. Furniture. How do you change the type of torch? How do you... Is there like a button to sift through multiple variants? I missed a floor panel right there. Yeah, I'll fix it in just a second. I'm learning about lamps right now. You may not have unlocked it. Let's see. That's another thing I need to figure out. How does one research? Oh, all right. Let's pause for a second. Oh man. Okay. I saw some people doing modded playthroughs and I watched them scroll for like six days over. And that's very exciting to me.